one key issue in data privacy is that you're dealing with various types of data and people are different. So sometimes there's an issue where you can merge different data sets and find information that is unique to a, a specific data, even though you anonymize or you remove personal information from each data set. So you want to be able to extract enough information from the data that even if you were to merge the data sets together in aggregate, you could still protect personal information and not be able to re-identify persons within that data set. This is particularly hard for outliers or people who are unique within a data set because they're easily identifiable because they're not a part of homogenous data. So having a data set that's homogenous enough, even though it, it includes outliers, is a difficult problem to solve. The US Sensor data set has done a really great job in terms of making sure that within a certain threshold, people's information or a particular group of individuals is not exposed. I think that's their data set is a really good data set for showing um, how data should be protected while also making the data usable so that people can make predictions or use the data in a way uh, that's helpful. So I think that, that they do a really good job but um, we also, in, in general, if you're using data, it's still a difficult problem. I wouldn't say within the U.S. Data, census data because they've done a great job, but um, there are data sets where people have been able to, in aggregate, take things that are, let's say, your favorite movies along with someone's zip code and put them together and then be able to re-identify individual persons. And that's, that's a problem. So we're, work, we're working on making it better, and we're trying to make it automated using tools like machine learning, which is, why, which is part of what I'm involved in.